Hey guys, it's Deb again with Art and Grace. How is everybody tonight? I am gonna make sure that I'm live before I go any further, because a second ago I went live and it was not live. There, I'm live, okay, perfect. So if you'll please just say hi when you pop on, I wanna see if the comments pop up for me. It would be great if they do, but every day's a mystery around here. We just kind of roll with the punches. But I am painting a new Lazy Susan tonight, and I'm really excited because it's a 10 inch, and this is gonna be perfect for my desk. So sometimes you want something larger for like a big medicine cabinet or like a, you know, we have a big cabinet in the kitchen that we have stuff in like that. And so that is perfect. But for my little desk, I have a very small desk where I work. Um, I think this is gonna be perfect. So right now, let me show you this one. This is what I have on here now. And you can see it really takes up, you know, more space than I would like. So I think this one's gonna be perfect. And I'm gonna do um, a cute little flamingo on it. So hopefully you guys will hang out with me while I paint. And let's just get going. Um, say hi when you pop on. Let me know you're here, and I'm hoping that comments will pop up, so. Oh, I see comments on my laptop, but not on my phone. I'm gonna make one here, so bear with me. It might bounce for a second, but sometimes when I make a comment, it will allow the others to pop up, but I'm so glad you guys are here. Hi, Lisa, hi, Tammy, Christy, Christina. I'm so glad y'all popped on. I don't know why the comments just are such an issue, but. It'll say swipe left for comments. I swipe left and no comments. Oh, I see Christy. I see Christy's hello. Let's see, was that one of the, yeah, I see it's really slow on there evidently. Glad y'all are here. So let's get going. I am excited to paint this. I'm super excited that I have this smaller size. Um, I only was able to get four more. So I have five total. So four more after the one I paint. So if anybody, when you watch me, if you're like, ooh, I have to have one, let me know ASAP. And I will, I will let you know. Christy, how are you? Are you doing good? I do too. I love flamingos, Lisa. Thanks for popping on. So y'all, um, Lisa is a friend of mine who she is doing her, you're doing your launch right now, right, Lisa? So you are, you and your husband have a business where you, one of the things you do is provide wood cutouts and you can answer in the comments, um, you might just even put your business name so people could follow you. But guys, if you, if you like to paint and um, you like to paint wood, cause I love painting wood of all kinds, she's got the best cutouts at the best price. So, um, you can put more information in here, Lisa, and let them know, you know, just exactly what you have to offer or put the link to your business. And I love supporting other small businesses, but I never will lead y'all to anybody that I don't know personally and how they do business. Um, and Lisa's and her husband are the real deal and they are definitely looking to help people. So there's a lot of us who we're in business, of course, to make money. That's why we do this. We want to make money doing what we love. But the cool thing is when you can find people who, yeah, they need to make a living, but they also are fair. Like they don't want to jack the prices up so high that people can't afford it. And one of the cool things about their business, um, I was listening to what they offer is you know, if you can't order a bulk supply, say that you're a business that needs to offer wood cutouts to people, but you can't afford to, to order, you know, a hundred to get the big discount. They, they still give you the discount. They give you the discount even if you only want to order five. So that is really pretty unheard of today. And I think that, you know, that God will honor that for you guys. I think your business is going to do great. So anyway, um, hopefully Lisa, you'll Put your link in here for everybody. Oh, Christy, I love everything beach too. I I just think, um, I love that, Lisa. I just think, 
I was probably meant to live somewhere that has water, but I've just not been able to. Maybe someday, because I love the beach and being outside, but I don't like being outside in Texas with no pool, because, you know, the summers here are so hot, but anyway, I'm just getting on a background. Um, I'm kind of really, I did go ahead and do the white base before I started this live because you know how boring that is. But I'm just kind of going around the shape of the flamingo here. And, you know, whenever, like, I sell any, if I can get the, more of these, I do. But uh, for anybody that purchases from me anytime, you know that I give the tracers. I mean, I give the tracers free half the time anyway. Because I want to inspire you guys to, to get crafty and get creative. But, um... But of course, if you, whatever tracer you want to put on your Lazy Susan, I would give you that. So, um, somebody bought this one. This is the lemon. The one that I have right here by me is the lemons. And somebody bought one and wanted strawberries. So, of course, we can do that. So, Lisa, I'm kind of like you on that. Like, we, we make it work for people, whatever they need, right? So, hi, Becky. How are you tonight? I know that you are... Having a rough week, I'm sure. Getting this close to the end of school and kids feel it and everything. You need a beach vacation, don't you? But thanks for popping on. Hi, Madeline. How are you? Yes, Tony. I'm so there. A mastermind on the beach. I love that. Christy, you are on fire. Um... I mean, I don't know how you, you are getting so much accomplished. It's fantastic to watch. You paint everything and it's great. Not only is it fun and relaxing, and that's what got me painting all the time, but you're putting beauty in the world, you know? Because sometimes you get on Facebook and it's just a lot of junk and stuff you don't even want to see, people's opinions and all that stuff. So I do encourage everybody, if you're creating art of any kind, share it. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be, don't feel like, you know, you're not good enough. Yes, you are. Nothing has to be, you know, museum quality. But just, you don't know, but what, like when I started painting this flamingo, Christy immediately thought of somebody. She thought of her, was it, did you say son, grandson, grandson's girlfriend. So see, it just, Things can make people get to a different place, a different, a better, a better mind space. So put your stuff out there and brighten up the place, right? And it can open up conversations for you to get to know people. Somebody might tell you they lived on the beach. You know, just whatever you're creating put it out there for the world to see because we need more goodness and more happy, fun things, fun art. And I definitely want to inspire people to try it. So um, that's another reason that I have stuck with the fun art because people are much more likely to try this kind of art than to try to do a Bob Ross. And, um, so if people will start with this and at least, you know, loosen up and paint, then they might graduate to, to try the fine art and Bob Ross and love that. And they might not, and they might stick with this forever, but either way, it's a great, it's a great way to relax. It's another great thing to do with your family. So... You could have, you know, a lot of people have family movie night. Maybe you want to have family painting night and everybody paint, you know, it can be a cereal box. It doesn't even have to be, you know, anything big like a Lazy Susan, but, and I don't know if I told y'all, this one's 10 inches, but I only have four, so it's not like I'm selling them. Like, I didn't even bother putting it on Etsy or anything because, like I said, I only could get four. Um... My 12 inch were 45 and these are 35. 
but if anybody wants them tonight, I'll just do 30 because 30 plus shipping because, um, like I said, I only have four, so they will go fast and it's not like, anyway, um, let's see. This is a lot of blue to put. I was, I wasn't thinking I could have even done the blue before y'all got on, but. We can still chit chat, right? I probably should stop and do some sand. Oh, that's right. Um, oh, sorry, hold on. Christina, you sold your flower thing today. That's awesome. The thing that you showed in Grace. I'm so happy. That's great. See, that's the thing. When people are afraid to put their items out there, nobody knows about it. But when you just put it out there, now somebody wanted to buy her item. That's awesome. You'd rather go fishing and camping. That's great though. That's a good, that's a really good pastime hobby with the kids can all be together off the phones and off technology and all that. I love that. Yes, congratulations, Christina. That's huge. Oh, so what I was reading, um, Yes, Lisa. I saw your comment. That would be fun. We'll, we'll have to we'll have to plan for that and start saving and all the good stuff. That would be fun. I've definitely had that in my mind to do some type of retreat for all of us because um, I don't know. I just think that it you know once things open back up for everybody and we can meet, I think it would be fun. We're definitely getting real close, aren't we? If not, almost there. So this is just a number six or seven, I think it's a seven, round brush. And I'm just kind of using that, going in here and getting the blue. And I didn't even add white. Usually for a sky or something, I'll add a lot of white and but I just kind of want this really pretty, this is Bahama Blue. It's probably my favorite deco art color right now. Um, it was last year and here I am again. Just I just love the color. Do y'all have a favorite paint color? You know that I love their pinks and I use um, their fuchsia a lot. It's a really pretty color. I just... This color, I think it just does, it just says beach to me, so. Okay, so I'll probably stop and put down a little sand. Hadn't even thought of doing sand, but I think that'll be cute. So actually, I probably should have, well, yeah, that's okay. That'll be okay. It doesn't have to be perfect anyway. Anything teal or bright, Christy? Yes. Hi, Angelica. How are you? You go by Angel, right? I forget. I forget. How are you, Marty? I'm so glad y'all are here. Ooh, watermelons. That sounds beautiful. Is that, what brand is that? Watermelon Slice. I don't know that color, but it sounds great. And it's another summertime favorite, right? I don't know why growing up, we really didn't have watermelon a lot. I feel, I, I remember definitely at July 4th, but I love buying them. I think my poor mom, I think she worked so hard that she didn't have time to cut stuff up like as much as, as other people maybe. She, she worked so hard. She was a great example for sure of work ethic. I'm trying to decide how, if I wanna. I don't know, I think I'm not doing sand. I think I'm just gonna stick with the blue. That's what I had in my head to begin with and I think I'll just leave it. I messed up on that leaf, but I can easily fix that with 
when I go to do that leaf color. So there's too much space right there and I, it's just because I didn't see my little line. You'll ever do that, but you know, when acrylic paint dries, you can go right over it with white and then, and then paint right over it, so. Another thing I like about acrylic paint is it's pretty forgiving. You can always fix any mistakes. Brush is a little dry. When you're when you're painting and it starts kind of not going smoothly, get your brush a little bit wet. It just means your brush got too dry. So tomorrow's Friday. Does anybody have any exciting plans or are y'all just glad it's Friday? And if anybody is uh, asking questions or making any comments, I will go back. I love to see them, um, but I, it's hard for me to keep up as I'm painting. But I'm wanting to know what, what brand that watermelon slice is, so I'm gonna check. Yes, glad it's Friday. You're going to the beach, oh my gosh. Yay, that's so awesome. It's a peachy red. Wait, watermelon slice is deco art? How do I not know that color? That is strange, I don't know that color. That is terrible, because I thought I knew all their colors. I definitely should. To me, their paints are so creamy, and they have such good coverage, don't y'all agree? Use whatever you like and whatever works well for you. Um, there's nothing wrong with any of them. I mean, it's really just personal preference. When it, especially when it comes to crafts and, you know, fun paintings, you don't have to buy any particular brand. Are y'all still with me? Because I looked up right as it said um, that there was an interruption. This is a seven. I thought it was a six, but I believe it's a seven. Yeah, it's a seven. It is a little bigger than my six. I usually grab my six, but I grabbed a seven. Six round is kind of my go-to for most, for a lot of things. Okay, that's a pretty good background color. Isn't it pretty? It's just such a good color. And I, once I'm done, sometimes I'll paint, you know, with you guys and then I'll go back and do like a second coat. Or in this case, I'm gonna do the sides, you know. I don't, hi Serenity. I don't um, always do everything with you guys live just for the sake of time. So for my flamingo, I say let's go fun. And we'll just mix some colors up here. So this is the fuchsia. It is royal fuchsia. That's probably backwards. I don't think I switched my camera. I'm gonna just, I wish I'm dying to use this. I haven't used it yet. It's cactus flower. Brand new to me this year. So I'm gonna put that out and then some white. I need to get some white out. That's really too small. I don't know where my, sometimes I have brushes like in the, um, in a cup. I've washed them and they just sit in a cup on my kitchen counter and I think that's where they are because I don't have the ones that I'm looking for exactly. I can't tell what size that is. Most of mine have so much paint built up on them that you can't see the 
the size. But I'm just gonna go into this um, pretty fuchsia and kind of start with that. Doesn't that look good on that blue? And then I'm gonna go into, I'm just gonna grab some of that cactus flower. See, we can play and get this looking really pretty. You never have to just, you know, use one color. You can always add white to any of your colors. Oh, I really went over on that. And then you can, um, you know, just put them on the same, I'll put the white and the pink on my brush and give some dimension to it. I really, um, I love the cactus flower. It's pretty, isn't it? I love y'all talking. I love it. I like it. It's fun to, everybody, a lot of y'all know each other from just, I mean, of course, some of you are in groups with me and stuff, but I know some have just kind of gotten to know each other just because we all travel the same circles or many of the same circles and you just recognize names after a while, which I think is so cool. You know where this would be cute? I think, um, I always think I don't have a very, our, our bathroom counter is small, but um, I think it'd be really cute on a bathroom counter with a bunch of makeup in jars. So you can still see the design, but you know, it's still purposeful because you'd have your items in a jar and you just flip it around and get what you need. It'd be cute with nail polish all over it. I don't know, I just, of course you can paint anything you want to. It doesn't have to be a flamingo, but. I'm just thinking it would be cute. Everybody see okay? Y'all just have to holler at me. Hi Gloria, how are you tonight? It is a lazy Susan. Bonnie, did you paint your lemons yet? This is a smaller one, Bonnie. It is 10 inches. The others are 12. And it doesn't sound like much of a difference, but for me it is because my desk is very small. So those two inches will make a big difference for me. And sometimes you have a cabinet where the door won't shut if it's very large. So, you know, there's instances where you need a smaller one. I'm just gonna bring this cactus flower color all throughout. But I definitely want my fuchsia to show. Your lemon, Lazy Susan. Wasn't that a while back? How long has it been, um, Gloria? Because you're going to have to remind me. Did you mail the other one? Um, I'll have to message you after this because I'm confused on if you've ordered a second one. So let me finish what I'm doing here. What color are the legs, y'all? What color are their legs? And then I will get back with you. Oh, 
Oh, Bonnie, you did get yours painted? So somebody tell me what color Flamingo's legs are. I, I can't picture it. Let's see. I'm just thinking, are they the same color? Are they darker? They're kind of the same color, I think. I'm not seeing your comments. I think I'm just going to probably go for it. You painted them tan, Christy? They're lighter, Becky? Okay. So maybe the cactus flower with a little bit of white would be pretty. Let's try that. Because that is a, I can make that pretty light pink. And I will probably use my, uh, either a brush or a marker to trace, trace it sort of. So make those legs pop a little bit. little knobby knees. Has anybody watched any of the shows on, I think it's National Geographic, but I think they're pretty new. Um, at least maybe they're just new to me, but it gives you the up close of a lot of different kind of animals and, and seems, seems like they're new, but anyway, they're it's been really fun to watch. I've watched several of them here in the last week or so. I'm not a TV watcher, but I can sit and watch documentaries and things like that about nature. I love that stuff. Oh, it depends on the species, Bonnie, thanks. Orange to reddish, really, Nelda? Yellow to orange to pink red, interesting. Oh, Christy, you did a flamingo on a, on a trading card? So inside Grace, we're doing artist trading cards and I'm really excited. We did them at, at, in January, I think it was, and had a lot of fun and got some really, really good ones. Um, it's just really fun to, to do. If y'all don't know what they are, they're so artist trading cards and they call them ATC, ATCs. You, uh, they're two and a half by three and a half. That's the size. And they've got, they get really serious about them. But of course with my group, we're just there for fun. So you can paint them. You can, a lot of them are mixed media and just do them however you want, and then you trade them with other artists. So it's so fun. And then when the way we did it in Grace is we all, everybody that wanted to participate would mail them to me and then I mailed them out. So everybody got cards from each other. So you might get an envelope full of 20 cards, you know, and somebody else is getting them with yours. You know, it's just really cool to see everybody's different take on on art and so then you've got something personal by that person and so anyway if anybody's interested in doing that with us type in the comments ATC and I will get you information I would love to have y'all some others join us and and do that I think it's gonna be a lot of fun I think if you guys wanted to do it with us it'd be really fun to open it up and see what everybody creates and then we you know you exchange so everyone mails them to me 
and then I mail them out to each of y'all. And that way you're not creeped out by giving your address to a total stranger. <laughs> um, I'm darkening up these feet. I felt like they needed a little bit, but maybe not quite as much as I did. Thought they needed a little variation from the leg. Oh, are you, Christy? Fun. I like the size because they're small. They're just fun to work on. And so, yeah, I'm excited to do them. I'm gonna do a little bit of yellow here. I'm glad y'all got in here with me tonight. It's a little late for some of y'all, probably. But you know, as the days are, they stay light longer. It doesn't feel as late. Speaking of longer light, I'm sure a lot of y'all know my story about my mom who had Alzheimer's and um, just the, you know, the hard, hard years of, of, of that. Just, and that's enough said, right? But since she passed away in 2019, so that first year, um, she passed away in August. So then when June came around in 2020, I did a Alzheimer's fundraiser. And our family had done things before, like we had done walks and things. But it was the first year I had done a fundraiser with friends. So I got some of our art friends to join with me and we did a fundraiser and um, raised some good money. I was really proud of us, and I'm gonna do it again. So y'all be watching for that. Um, n you know, nobody's ever obligated to give, but it's always nice if you can, because 10 or $20 or $50, whatever you can do, adds up with everybody else's, and it just is a way for me to honor my mom and all of the hundreds of thousands of people that are also uh, suffering with it and or will suffer with it because we know statistics, you know. We know that it'll likely be one of us or someone we love, much like cancer and other things. So anyway, if you happen to have a heart for that, be watching. And if you are a creator and you're hearing me talk about it and think you might like to be a part of the, of the presenting part, let me know. The local Alzheimer's Association here in my area is fantastic. They um, have reached out to me several times and, and they just offer any help they can give me. It's great. I'm gonna go ahead and take this black and just go ahead and line. I'm thinking, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just line him while I'm doing this. Oh, I would love for you to. Thank you. Um, we, it's, it's a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot of work and a lot of behind the scenes stuff that I have to do. Um, 
but for those people that just come and watch, it's so, it's so fun because you guys will get the benefit of all of the presenters giving great tutorials, um, tracers, freebies, we have contests, you know, it's just, it's a lot of fun and all for such a good cause. And I don't feel like we will ever regret helping out, right? I mean, you've never, I've never regretted anything like that that I've done. And I've learned, I mean, I've only done, this will be my second one um, for Alzheimer's. So I've learned a lot from last year that I will do different and better. And then, you know, so each year it gets better. That's what I said. I can so see that, Tammy. Like, you could have little jars, like little, you know, the small mason jars. I think that would be so precious to have those sitting on there with cotton balls and Q-tips and whatever, you know. That'd be so cute. And it really is a good size for that. Oh, I messed up that line. But you know what? We're not going to sweat it. It can be fixed. Get something about painting live that you just and upside down live and upside down I mean is anybody in here a coke drinker because that's another thing I did have um, I did have some coke today I really I go through spurts where I have no coke I just literally only drink water and then once I fall off the wagon and I have a coat, then it's like every day or two or, you know, every couple of days I want another one. And it's really a problem because I don't want to have that sugar. I've gone to drinking everything else like uh, coffee and tea with no sugar. No sugar, no creamer, nothing like that. But Coke is my weakness. A good Coke, like Sonic. Sonic has some really good ones. So if you're a Coke drinker, tell me where you get yours. Where do you? That's his knobby knee right here. Pepsi, diet, oh, diet Pepsi, yeah. Oh, Bonnie. Well, good for you, you cannot mess around, right? And I shouldn't mess around because at my age and being overweight, I really should not have them at all. It's been something I've worked on forever. Like I, um, I would allow myself one on Saturday for a long time. And then I just totally got off them totally. But yeah, once, once I had one, it wasn't that long. I mean, that long ago. And then I'm kind of back on the kick of uh, craving them. It's really bad. Sugar is just, that's what happens. Makes you crave it. Okay, so that's 
that's my little flamingo. I'm going to do some um, palm leaves. Oh, yeah, Christy, you can. I hate my greens. I used to have them. And hysterectomy helped that. But, yeah, I had them for years and years, debilitating my greens. And some, you know, had to work with them sometimes. And just the, oh, they're horrible. Don't wish them on anybody. Oh, wow. Colby, hi, how are you? I'm so glad you popped on. And good for you because you're a diabetic. You can't have them. Um, but, yeah, it's so hard. The struggle is, is real when, when you just really like something like that. Okay, so this is the area, right, where I needed another... I think I needed another leaf right in there. I'm just taking the two greens that I have and going in here and letting them just mix right here on the wood. I've got, do I still have Bonnie and um, Colby on here together? How fun. Bonnie and Colby, I used to work with at a hospital and we all worked together. I miss you ladies. So, hi Amy, I just realized I saw your name. Well, it depends on where you put it. Of course, you know, mine aren't, here's my, here's my lemon one, or yeah, lemon. But look, it's so covered up, you can't even tell there's lemons on it, so. But if I ever decide to, I can clean, you know, take everything off and use it somewhere else. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this would be great anywhere. But you could even use it, you know, I took, I've taken my lemon one outside and put stuff on it, painted while, you know, I put my paints on it while I was out there. And so I guess it depends on the use, but if you like to paint, you can always just sand it off and paint over it next time, put something else on it. But for me, I mean, I really do enjoy using these. And so I have... I can have one in my craft room, one on my bathroom counter, one on my kitchen table. You know, you could have them anywhere. Colby, I'm so proud of you. Good job. Aw. Well, girl, hard work pays off, doesn't it? That is fantastic. You, you were a firecracker. I loved working with you. And you, gosh, do you remember? I remember. I remember just being stunned at how mature you were for your age. Just like, gosh, she's got it so together. Like, I don't know if you remember me thinking that or telling you that. I'm sure I did. Because I love, I love meeting young people that are like really driven and hardworking and I'm just playing, y'all. I just kind of play till I like the 
the look of it and the colors and everything. But I'm just going into, uh, let's see, I've got festive green, which I use that a lot. I just like that color, and margarita. And I'm just going between the two and then plopping it on there. When you use a tracer, you can have the trace design on here, but then you can you can always go over it, change it. Just use it as a guide. What should I paint on my next one? Y'all have any ideas? If anybody wants one and you want me to paint it, I'm happy to. I told you before, I love painting these. I love painting anything. But I know you guys like painting too, so you might want to paint it yourself. Not sure. I'm gonna look at my tracer to see. So I just printed off um, a flamingo and a palm leaf, and then I just put them where I wanted them. So this, that's weird. I'm not sure how this was supposed to be, but we're gonna make it work. I think it's just. The big part up here but when I do a tracer for you guys I will take whatever design that I did so like this and make a tracer from this so Angela, Angelica, Angel, gosh, you got to tell me, did you ever tell me what you like to be called? Because I think you told me before and I've already forgotten. Thank you, Bonnie. I know, Bonnie, it's so frustrating, isn't it, when we didn't have the opportunities to go to the school we wanted or whatever? Yeah. Yes, you're right at my son's age. I remember that. He's He just turned 30. I don't remember how old was he when we worked together. I'm trying to think if he was he in high school. No, he must have just gone to college, right? That's crazy. So on the flamingo, I think I'm gonna end up adding some more details. Like I've done it before where I did real fluffy wings. Um, let's see. Let's just see how she looks if we did that. I'm just gonna take some pretty thick. pretty thick paint here and kind of make this kind of design on her. And don't you always feel like flamingos are girls? <laughs> but you know there's boy flamingos. Yes, that is what I used. Oh, hi, Char. I'm so glad you popped in here tonight. How are you? You're an early bird, right? So I'm surprised you're up and at them this late. I'm gonna bring some of that royal fuchsia through here. And then I think I'm pretty 
pretty close to calling her done. But you can just play with it and get it however you like it. It's it's just personal preference on coloring and style. You might want yours really smooth and not have all the little feathery look to the wings. Fluffier feathers. Yeah, exactly. Just for fun, just to add fun to it. But that's it, 10 inch Lazy Susan. I'm gonna do the sides, and you know what I might do on the sides? I might do, I think I will. Let's just, let's just, let's just see. Y'all can let me know what you think, and if it's cute, we'll do the whole thing. Do y'all know what I'm thinking? Aw, this is 10. So I have some, had some 12 inch, which let me show you. This one here is a 12 inch. And as you can see, my art desk is real small. So um, when I found the 10 inch, I was like, that's gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna swap out. I'm gonna use this one in here and I'll use this one somewhere else. Um, so, you know, because two inches makes a pretty good difference on a small surface. But look how cute this will be, I think. And since it's fun art, there's no measuring. You just go for it. Do y'all like this? I don't know. I think it was Amy that did. Yeah, she did um, something with a girl. She was holding a big bouquet of flowers and had striped legs. And I just thought that was the cutest thing. You know, stripes are just always cute. And so, somebody recently, was it you, Christy, or Marty? Somebody did some stripes on something I saw, and I just, every time I see it, I'm like, I love that black and white stripe. So, it's fun to see how each person inspires somebody else. So, now, one of y'all will go do a flamingo on something, and here I'm doing Amy stripes on this, and I just think it's fun to be inspired to be inspired by what you see in the world and people that you meet. And I always believe God has us cross paths for a reason. It's been cool to have Bonnie and Colby on here tonight because our paths crossed and we're still friends. We all still follow each other on Facebook and occasionally message and keep up. That's the good thing. You know, Facebook has a lot of bad and we're all wanting to throw in the towel on Facebook sometimes, but it has a lot of good because we've all been able to stay in contact and meet people. And man, during COVID, aren't y'all glad that we had Facebook to be able to connect and paint together and all that. Oh, good, Tony. Thanks. I like them, too. Aw, I'm glad. Y'all paint one. I want to see. So, what's shaker, Char? I'm not sure. What is a shaker? This just makes, this kind of art makes me so happy. When I see it, it just, it's gonna bring a cheer. Especially, it's really cloudy, rainy here. Um, it's gonna be for the next solid week. So I'm gonna need to live vicariously through some of y'all that are in the sun. Okay, y'all, that's cute. I love the stripes. I love the stripes. So easy peasy. Y'all like it? I'll show you up close what we did with the feathers. Some salt and pepper shakers. Oh, okay. Make some salt and pepper shakers for it in stripes. There you go. That's, I have some. That's smart. I'll do that. 
that'd be cute. And we were talking about this would be cute like on a bathroom counter so you could put, you know, some of those little smaller jars, like the small mason jars with cotton, cotton balls, Q-tips, and then your salt and pepper shakers with something else in it. How cute would that be? Yeah, they're great for anything. Y'all message me or put it in the comments if you're interested in one. I'll let you know how many I have left. I only have four, so if anybody wants them, just claim them. And um, otherwise, tomorrow's Friday. I'm glad that you guys got on here with me. Thank you. It's always so much more fun when I have people to paint with and talk to. And hopefully before long, in fact, one day, we are just going to have to plan to all paint together somewhere. So we'll find a central location and all meet up and have a great time. You want one? Okay, message me and I'll, I'll talk to you. I love you, Colby. Thank you for getting on here. I miss you guys. I miss everybody because I really don't have face-to-face -face contact with many, right? So, um, won't be long, hopefully, and we'll see each other face-to-face. Y'all -face. have a great night, and I'll see you next time. Thanks again. Bye.